you'll see 20 billion galaxies, uh, galaxy, that one galaxy that seems so gigantic to you is but a, not even a drop in the infinity of space. So when you refer to conflicts or, or, or contractions or some contradictions or some struggle, you are putting your thumb in front of your eyes and because you're putting your thumb in front of your eyes, you're blocking 80% of the view and all you're seeing is the thumb, your thumb. You're saying, oh my goodness, the world, I cannot see the world. What I see is this thumb. So, you open the refrigerator and you see, you, you see uh, the refrigerator is empty while it's full because you just want the watermelon. There is everything in the refrigerator except the watermelon. So you look in the refrigerator and you, you, you don't see anything in the refrigerator while there are all sorts of things in there. So you focus on whatever is arising in the field. It overlooks the vastness of presence, the freedom and imagines that presence is being stirred up by whatever you're looking at that seems to be stirring, while it is presence itself that is perceiving the stirring and is completely unmoved and untouched and unstirred. So your question, what causes the conflict gives a reality to the wrong uh, gives a reality to something perceived and when you blink your eye what is perceived has shifted but you still hold on to it as a memory because uh, you believe it to be real, you give it reality. So you're giving reality to experiences while in deep sleep there is zero, real, zero experiences and thus where are all these experiences that you are holding on to in your memory throughout the entire waking state? But once you recognize the reality of consciousness, then they shift from whatever is appearing comes to its proper place, which is the eternity of consciousness and the eternity and universality, the borderless quality, non-personal quality of consciousness. I'm talking about whatever it is that he is his words right now, the pure, borderless, infinite presence that he is his words, that is intelligent, awake, aware, that goes beyond any doubt, beyond, beyond the mind, beyond any question. No one can confirm or argue with the consciousness that hears these words. You know it because you are it. You don't need to turn to anybody to ask him if that is so. So, the struggle is a dream struggle. There is really no struggle.
Whatever arises points to the awareness that perceives it, that knows it. It's a gift from God mm. to call you to notice mm. your infinity, your eternity, and your formless quality and your eternal quality of presence, of beingness and intelligence and awareness that perceives all perceptions without being tainted by them, can perceive all sorts of weather, sunny, rainy, stormy weather, like the wide open sky remain, remains wide and open. It's really actually, it's in, it's in, we say sky, it's infinity, it's eternity. Just using the metaphor of sky. So you have to watch the mind of preferences that sets A versus B and says A is better than B. Mm -hmm. That is constantly into the sorting business, mm -hmm. dividing the indivisible. Indivisible is in undividable, so divisions are imaginary. It's just impressions there. Uh, bodily sensations, thought and bodily sensations that are opening, that are occurring in the openness of being, that are unfolding in the vastness of being. The vastness of being is not a concept, it is what you are, what hears these words right now. So you don't go for those divisions. You swallow the whole thing. All the parts and pieces. I feel like you're the energetic reference is really clear because it's just feeling better, feeling more at peace, and just not holding on to anything, physical mm -hmm. or psychological, right. as powerful as this is, it's, it is in, in the way of that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. absolutely. It's like I have such a hard time, I mean this satsang is so valuable because it all becomes very clear, you know, mm -hmm. it's just these bad habits in my own <laughs> way of thinking showing up quite clearly. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Dissolve in the space. <laughs> Dissolve. Absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. of all of this is about you. There's nothing that's occurring that's about you. You 
are here because you, you are ready to understand that. So don't interpret anything as about you. See, consciousness is borderless. It doesn't do a you and a me. It dreams the dream. You come now to the understanding of consciousness. You're arriving to the understanding. So you live your understanding. And the way you live your understanding is as consciousness offers you, gifts you with situations where some of the stuff arises, allow it to arise, welcome it and say, okay, I recognize you. I no longer belie believe and live caring for the me, the me thing. I recognize that. I recognize you. I recognize what's been stored throughout the feeling state and welcome it to arise and release without, without buying into it or feel, believing it or adopting that position. Just as the open space that recognizes that arising and allows that arising without judging, because this judging always comes from the separate self. It's a separate self movement. It's a me movement. Judging one, judging the other, judging oneself or the other is the same. With that too much trying to figure it out in your head, meaning through the I thought, because if the thought has an I character behind it, me trying to understand it. It hides, it hides, but if you look, you will see that there is a, the trying to figure it out is an I thought, it's an also has a me quality to it. But at the energetic level, you just sort of, just the openness and the vastness that recognizes that vibration, that energetic vibration, that flow, that movement, whatever it is, just arises, arises out of consciousness and dissolves in consciousness. It's releasing itself out of your feeling state, out of your body. That's how you live it, that's how you, you sort of help consciousness, You're, you as consciousness helping yourself, and yeah, yes to that. I and see this kind of notion of innocent, loving heart, and all